Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the processes. So as we discussed in the previous video that a process is nothing but a program which is in the execution state. So a program while it's being executed is called a process. There are different states of the process and a process may be in one of these states at a time. It can be in the new state which means the process is being created. It can also be in ready state, which means the process is waiting to be assigned to the processor, right? So it's in the ready queue and the CPU is basically going to be assigned to this particular process and executed. It can be in the running state as well, which means instructions are being executed and it can be in waiting, suspended or blocked mode as well. So the process is waiting for some event to occur. Probably it needs some resource that is blocked by or that is taken by another process. So another process is doing something with a particular resource which the this particular process is requesting for. That's why it's waiting. So that could be an example of when it's waiting. It's halted or terminated. The process has finished its execution. So it's halted or terminated. Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about the implementation of processes. And in this video, we're going to talk specifically about context switching. So what is context switching? So context switching is basically the switching of the CPU from one process to another process. Let's say there's a process that is being executed. So in context switching, when an interrupt occurs, the CPU is assigned to the process that caused the interrupt. And once the process is completed, the CPU is reassigned back to the previous process. So let me give you an example. Let's say there are two processes, process A and process B. Initially, they are in the ready queue. Now, let's say that CPU gets assigned to process A and the process A starts executing, right? You can see that it's executing here. Let's say the process B causes an interrupt. So interrupt occurs over here and basically process B wants to execute. So what's going to happen is that process A is going to be suspended at that point. And the information about the process A, which is the context of process A, is going to be saved inside of PCB, which, which is process control block. So that information is saved so that it can be reloaded at the time of the process resumption. So that it can be reloaded at the time of resuming the process A. Then we reload the register. The process B starts executing. Once it finishes executing, again, we save the information of the context of the process B in the register. We reload the context of the process A uh, because we had saved that information earlier in the PCB. And once it's reloaded, we know where it needs to be executed from. So it needs to be resumed from and it starts executing again. So that's basically the context switching, which means in simple words, uh, one while one process is executing an interrupt occurs, uh, the CPU is switched from one process to another. Okay. And in the meanwhile, uh, we also save the context of the processes so that uh, we can resume them when we want to. Process B has finished executing. So, okay, now we're going to talk about what are threads. So a thread or lightweight processes, LWPs, are independently scheduled parts of a single program. We say that a task is multi-threaded if it is composed of several independent sub-processes which do not work on common data and if each of those pieces could run in parallel. So the task can be single-threaded or multi-threaded. Okay. Now you can take a look at this example. Let's say you have this hard disk and there's a program inside of that and this program includes these instructions, a set of instructions. As you all know that a program is a set of instructions. And when the program is instantiated inside of the RAM, random access memory, so this is your process. So we have, let's say inside of RAM, we have multiple processes, process one, process two, up to process M. Uh, they have the pointers, they have collect pointers, the thread one, thread two, and so on. And they all have different priority levels. This is where the context switching happens from one process to another, CPU is assigned to uh, from one process to another. Uh, this is the preemption. Preemption is basically acquiring a resource from one process to another. Okay. Uh, this is your scheduler, which is part of the operating system. Uh, the process gets executed by the CPU. Okay. So that's kind of a basic information about your, you know, how your thread uh, and how your processes are working. 